That's an embarrassing loss, and it has nothing to do with opening a new stadium. It has a little bit to do with the fact that, that uh, you know, people were here, uh, you know, that didn't have a chance to play in this stadium that were here supporting us, and it's embarrassing that we go out there and play like that and pitch like that. It's just unacceptable. But our hitters, the same thing, though. Our hitters didn't do anything early in the ball game. They weren't swinging. They were separating. I got guys at the bottom of the order hitting weak fly balls. Um, that's far from that's far from what what we uh, uh, expect here at Purdue, and it's uh, for me personally is one of the most embarrassing losses I've had. And again, very little to do with the stadium. That's I've, I've lost games before. I've lost games by a worse score, but to give up 21 free bases and have pitchers walk 14 guys uh, and hit two and three wild pitches is flat out embarrassing. Is this something you saw building at all, or any? I mean, oh, this is the way we've been playing for uh, quite a bit of the year. We've been bobbing and weaving. Now we haven't been giving up 14 walks, but we'll give up uh, double-digit free bases. And when anytime you give up double-digit free bases, uh, you're, you're setting yourself up for trouble. I mean, like, like Schreiber. Schreiber, you know, actually gave us a chance to win through four, even though he gave up, gave up a home run and uh, had some free bases that that amounted to, uh, you know, he walked in a run early. It's still two nothing. But he's bobbing and weaving the whole time, and so he's giving up free bases. And then next thing you know, a ball's dropped in the outfield, sandwiched between two walks, and then a, a scratch infield single that we can't make a play on. And that's what happens when you walk guys. All the little stuff is going to come to the surface, and it's, it's going to get uh, uh, magnified. Um, and then when we're not scoring runs, it gets magnified even more. So uh, yeah, this has been building because we were seven and eleven coming in, and. Uh, part of me, a lot of me, said that we're very fortunate to be 7-11. And, and again, that's unacceptable for me to sit here and tell you that we're 7-11, and, and I'm thankful that we're 7-11 because we wound up winning. We hit 188 on the weekend at Evansville, 188, and we won two out of three. We beat two really good pitchers. Uh, we just bunched our, our, our hits all in one inning and got timely hits, which is more important than quantity. Uh, but we had eight wild pitches at, at Evansville, and, and game three got away from us because you know our pitchers uh, uh, didn't compete. So I'm looking for all I need is all I need is seven guys, seven guys on the mound that'll compete, and I'll find them. I'll find them by the end of this thing. So what's going to happen to turn it around tomorrow in a doubleheader? Uh, Mitch has got to take the ball and, and stick it right down their throats. That's what he's got to do. He's got to he's got to come in hard, and uh, he's got to challenge him. He's got to put the ball in the zone and then let his defense work for him. Uh, Jordan Mintz is a freshman, but he's a great competitor, and, uh, and again, I expect uh, him to come out. Now, he's got the bugaboo as far as, as a high school guy. He wasn't a great command guy, so he'll pepper some in, but that kid will compete, um, you know, and we can't, we can't give up multiple free bases. Uh, we can't give up three or four free bases in an inning and then expect to get out of it, which we were early. We were bobbing and weaving and, and minimizing. Um, but like I said, a scratch hit here, a bloop single there, and then all of a sudden they put one in the gap and they put up a four spot. So it, it can't, uh, you know, we, Mitch has got to come in and he's got to be able to compete, throw strikes and challenge the hitters.